Attack on Mika. My name is Ichi. I'm just like any other college student. Between school, my friends, and relationships, every day is really fun. However, just because I'm a college student doesn't mean I can play around all the time. Welcome! You must be the reservation under Mr. Tanaka. We're delighted to have you. Please, ride this way to your table. In order to learn some skills necessary for the future, and to better understand how the world works, I work part-time at a high-end restaurant. These experiences that I have as a student will probably come in handy as an adult. That's why my parents encouraged me to work part-time at this restaurant. <sighs> Ichi is so handsome today, too! I know, I know! He's only part-time, but he's so good at his job! If only he would work full-time with us! I want to work with Ichi forever! Uh. Whew, I'm just about done with today's work! Hi, hey, Ichi! Ah, Mr. Arito. This person who just called me is Mr. Arito. He's the manager of this location at the restaurant and my boss. Is something the matter? We're understaffed in the kitchen tonight! Hate to ask you, but can you stay a little late and work tonight? What? Understaffed in the kitchen? I don't think that's true. If I say we're understaffed, that means we're understaffed! Sure thing, sir. What? I don't mind. I just need to help out in the kitchen, right? If there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. I'm happy to help my colleagues whenever they need it. That's a given, of course. Oh, Ichi, he's just the best! That's why he's number one, always! Damn it! I was often asked to help out when the restaurant was understaffed. Because of that, recently I was going home pretty late. But I never complained, nor did I think it was a bad thing. Yeah, I was tired, but I thought it was important to take my work seriously. And help my colleagues when needed. I'm home! Welcome home, Ichi! Oh, Grandpa, is it awake? You've been coming home pretty late recently, so I was worried. Don't worry about me, I was just helping out at work. Helping out? Yeah, we've been understaffed lately. Oh, I see. Well, don't push yourself too hard. Grandpa's worried. Thank you for worrying about me, Grandpa. Every day I made sure to pay attention to the details, taking both my studies and my part-time job seriously until one day. What? But fired? Why, sir? Why don't you look deep inside of yourself? The answer is there. What does that even mean? Did I do something wrong? I thought I was doing all my work pretty well. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about it, but I can't figure out why. This is exactly why you'll never improve! Listen, you're always too busy flirting with the women. What? What are you talking about? Always flirting and flirting and flirting with the female staff! I don't need any staff here who don't take their job seriously! I I've never done anything like that! That's right, manager! Ichi has been working harder than anyone else around here! He's never laid a hand on any of the female employees. Ah! This is a store manager's decision! Now get out! And don't ever think about showing your face around here again! Uh, how can this be? I'm home. Ichi, you're home quite early tonight. And did something happen at your job? Grandpa! Actually, I was fired today. Fired? But why now? Because I was supposedly flirting with the female employees at work? But I swear, I never did anything like that! But if that's what it looks like, then maybe it's my own fault? I just worked a little bit harder. Ichi, it's important to think that way, but make sure you're not too hard on yourself. Grandpa. I know, let's go eat something delicious! What? Why? When your heart is feeling a little bit down, eating something delicious will make your stomach smile. Oh! Well, what a great idea, Grandpa. Well then, why don't we all go out together as a family? It's been a while. Mom, Dad! That's true! Let's all go out together. Woo! But this month, your mom and dad are both really busy with work. Well, then let's all go next month. Ah, great idea. Oh, it's been a while since we've eaten out together. That's Get right. right! And so, the next month. Today's gonna be fun. What shall we eat? There's no need to hesitate. Eat whatever you want, okay? Thank you, Grandpa. Welcome. You must be the reservation and... Oh, look who it is. The little womanizer, Inchi. What? Mr. Arita, what are you doing here? Oh, I 
was put in charge of this location in addition to the other place. Well, I guess you could say it's a matter of my skill. <laughs> I see. Well, congratulations. Your words mean nothing to me. Anyway, do you even know what kind of restaurant this is? This is a high-end place. You know that, right? You should know your own level before coming into a place beyond your league. Uh, I don't have time to be catering to a family of misunderstanding losers. You guys will have to wait. Well then, goodbye, peasant. Hey! Calm down, Ichi. But Grandpa! I'm so sorry, sir, ma'am. I will show you right to your table. This way, please. I am so very sorry about this. Once Mr. Rito left, everything was fine up until another member of the staff showed us to our table. But after we were seated, we were given our waters and nobody would come to the table. Even when we called out to the staff, not only would they purposely avoid us, they would also ignore us. By the time we realized, over an hour had passed and we still only had our waters. I've had so much water that I needed to use the restroom. The staff are saying something. Hey, is that table okay? It looks like nobody has gone over there. Because the manager told us all not to go near that table, remember? But I feel so bad for them. If you don't listen to him, he'll fire you. Yeah, but still, this is really awful. Interesting, I see. Looks like the restaurant will be closing soon. Ah, uh, yes, it's late. We didn't get to eat anything in the end. Well, I guess that's a shame. Excuse me, it's closing time. So, customers, if you could please make your way out, the sooner the better. I see. Now I have a very good understanding of this location's customer service. Huh? What are you muttering? Let's close down this location. I agree. Agreed. Huh? What are you saying? Mr. Arito, you didn't know? What are you saying? The company that you work for, the company CEO, or the president, or the director, she really know their faces. Huh? Wait, you are a CEO and the president? Why? Hey, so this is a customer service that you're offering. Now that I've experienced it, I have a good understanding. The staff are all wonderful. What a shame to have someone like you at the top. Everyone on the staff, we are so terribly sorry that you've had to work under such circumstances. We will be sure to review this location and restructure accordingly. So please, allow the opportunity as a company to make this right. <laughs> Ichi, you... No! That's right, I'm the only son of the CEO of this company. In preparation for the future, my father is letting me work part-time in this company. Ichi, um, you see, I'm, I'm sorry. Please hear me out. Sure. Ichi! But, Mr. Arito, your story can wait, right? Cause and effect. <laughs> what goes around, comes around, as they say. I hope you never forget that anymore. Uh, how can this be? A few days later, Mr. Arita was officially let go from the company. Even when he tried applying to other companies, his poor reputation was ahead of him, and he was left begging at every door. Now I've heard that he's digging into a savings account, as he's desperately trying to find a job. I'll do it! Even for 10 cents! Maybe I'll find one here! The restaurant didn't end up closing and instead was appointed a new manager as they got back on their feet. I started working part-time at that location, too. The staff are all great people. Welcome! You must be the reservation under Mr. Tanaka? We're delighted to have you. Right this way to your table. Hard work pays off, as they say, and what goes around comes around. I hope to continue making our guests happy with excellent customer service. <laughs> Thank you.